For those of you who don't know uh, DIY FPV, it is the greatest FPV website online. Uh, you know, I may be a little bit biased. It's uh, my own personal website that I've been working on with the DIY FPV team for like 18 months. If you've ever wondered how to solve your drone problems, the first thing you need to think about is what is the troubleshoot process that I'm going through? So I'm about to read you a post on DIY FPV. And for a newcomer, if you're, if you're getting into the hobby for the first time, there is so much information going on and looking at all the variables that drones have, it sounds almost impossible to diagnose a problem, but we're gonna break it down so you get the skills on how to do that. So this is for those new pilots out there. Look at this, look at this for a post. Uh, so this is in the troubleshoot section of DIY FPV. He's talking about how he's got his first drone, which is going to, you can, this is important too, because a first time pilot is going to go through a lot of these same experiences anyways. Flying his drone, he's bound it. I'm paraphrasing all this stuff here. He's set it up, blah, 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 blah. He's flying and flying in the air. Hit my ceiling, which caused it to fall to the floor. After the second flight, uh, I used my throttle more carefully, crashed it, which is why a sim is really important. Crashing isn't the issue. What's the issue is after the second crash, I lost the video signals in my goggles. Um, the drone was still responding to the radio just fine. I'm able to arm and spin up the motors. Uh, so then he, I had to figure out how to relink the VTX before it worked again, no problem. But after this, uh, limited the throttle to 70% to be safe. And this is where it got weird. Arm the drone, lost video signal, picked it back up after a second or two. Then it throttled itself up, but not enough to lift off. When I tried lifting it by itself, it flew for a bit and dropped down. I started throttling up on the floor, which I disarmed it and removed the battery. Like there is so much going on here that a newcomer coming into the hobby with a description like that, there is about like a checklist, a flow chart of things that you should be mentally going through to solve that. Um, so here, uh, here's his questions. Why is my video signal disconnecting as well as dropping out? And why is my throttle, why is it throttling up by itself and any other tips? So this is for Epic Pie Flavor. I'm going to give you a bit of a breakdown here and I'll post a link to this here. It says a solution here. One of his connections was loose, but this could have been a number of things and this might help some pilots out there as well. So why is my video signal disconnecting? The first thing I would think of is, is your battery charged? Like if you have been testing and it's happened to me in the past, don't laugh. If you've been testing and trying to get flying and a battery is getting flatter and flatter and flatter, you might think, oh, I haven't been flying for that long or I've just been testing things on the bench, especially a little craft, is your battery flat? Now, once you rule that out, it's all about ruling each step of the process out. Now there's two things here. The video is disconnecting as well as dropping out. Now he says that's because one of the connections came loose. That's probably one of the first things that you can look at. Then I would be like, are they on the same firmware? Um, was anything damaged in the crash? Because you're saying up here, a crash is, he did crash into the ceiling. That's something that you need to uh, have a look at. Look, he did find out that he could rebind it. This, this part here, why is the drone throttling up by itself? This is a warning to you, you newcomers. Do not do this. Do not limit your throttle to 70% and muck around with that sort of stuff if you are a newcomer to the hobby. There is so many variables that you need to take care of. Don't do this. Like I think back to what Grumpy Trev used to say, like if it's not broken, don't fix it. If it's working, don't update it. Don't mess with it. So if it is working, don't go in there and start messing with the settings, especially if you're a new pilot. If you are hitting the ceiling, the best thing you can do is jump on the sim and practice, like, or go outside and practice. Trying to solve this with software is not going to help you become a better pilot. Um, now, as far as like, it's throttling itself up, but not to lift itself, this, this is making me think that maybe you did something wrong in the settings. So uh, when you were adjusting your throttle, have you changed the setting in here, which is gonna be making the drone throttle up and like freaking out? It could also be something to do with which mode is it in? Because I know a lot of pilots when they, they fly around in like self-level mode, when you arm in self-level mode, the drone is going to ride itself. Like if it is not sitting perfectly flat and it is symmetrically, like has a great center of gravity, if the front is heavier than the back and it's leaning forwards a little bit, it's going to always try to level itself out, which is why it would be arming the motors um, in this case. And that means not arming the motors. That's why it's going to be throttling up. Now, if it starts hovering and flying in the air, that is bad. That means you've done something here when you've set your, uh, your throttle limit and that sort of stuff. So 
There are so many things that you need to do if you're a new pilot coming into the hobby and something is breaking or not working, you need to go through like a flow chart of things step by step and rule those things out. Is my battery charged? Is the, are the other cables correctly plugged in? Put your settings back to what they used to be. Do you still replicate the problem? So you need to go, oh, okay, maybe the settings weren't the issue that I was having. Like don't change all these variables and then try to find out why is my drone not working? It needs to be one thing methodically after another. And it's a real skill uh, that you need to have in FPV because our hobby, there is so many variables that you can change. Like if you just open up Betaflight and you look at like the ports tab and the serial and the RX provider, and then go on over to like the ATR and how would your radio set up? Like there is so much to do. Don't mess with more th more than one thing at once would be my my recommendation. Now, if you have any other questions, always head over to DIY FPV uh, and just put something right here under the little troubleshoot. You can do a little post um, right here. So we've got this one. Um, recently got my Radio Master GX12 and noticed that it doesn't come pre-installed game, that it doesn't come pre-installed with games like Pong and Tetris. Uh, is this possible? All right, so this person wants to play Tetris on their GX12. Maybe if you have a solution for that, you can put that in there. That's probably a pretty random one, actually. I mean, it is technically FPV related, but yeah. If you've got any troubleshoot questions, throw them down there.